Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing Final Fantasy 13 Play Arts Fang. So let's head to the table and check it out. So here we are, and there she is. Here's the lovely Miss Fang. And as we see here by her box, she is... She is number six, and she is the final figure of the second wave, or volume two. And there you see her full name, Oerba Yunfang. Very nice. Now, to get down to the character herself, Fang is, again, a very, uh, a very tough character. She's a tough chick. And, um, she definitely has no problem getting down and, and, and you know, getting down and dirty and, and getting into a battle. Um, she's the most kind of calm, cool, and, and collected of the characters. I mean, she's really, she kind of goes through the game just kind of with this blase attitude, like, all oh, this is just another day at the office, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, she really just lets stuff just kind of roll off her. She doesn't stress too much, to the point where, at one point, lightning slaps her across the face, and Fang just looks at her and says, are you done? Do you feel better now? <laughs> and that's just, that just made me laugh. Um, she does lose her cool, though, once her and Vanille get separated, because she is very, very protective of Vanille, and, um, Protective to the point where you know she says that she would she would die for Vanille. She would die just to keep her to keep her safe and out of harm. And um, yeah, and at one point, you know, at another point, she does lose her cool uh, again, where she almost she she almost turns on the group and and tells them, look, if you guys want to go and get yourselves killed, then I don't want to be a part of it anymore. But you know she kind of comes around, and uh, she comes around quickly, and realizes that she needs to kind of stick it through and, and save the world, but yeah, and just on a little side note, a little interesting uh, uh, piece of trivia here, um, uh, as per a interview with uh, Tetsuya Nomura, um, it was revealed that during the early stages of the development of the game, uh, Fang was actually originally going to be a man. She was originally going to be a male character. Which is weird, and I'm actually glad that they kind of uh, made her into a female character, because then it kind of evens it out, because then you have three male characters, three female characters, so it, 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 it evens it out. So I kind of like that they changed their minds and decided to make Fang a, a woman. This is very cool. But, down to the nitty gritty, down to the figure. As you can see here, the head sculpt, as with all these figures, is very, just simply amazing. They did an amazing job on, on the head sculpt here. Her hair, oops, bumped the camera. Her hair, this, uh, these little front parts, this little uh, ponytail here, this little bit right here of her hair is that soft plastic. The back part of her hair, unfortunately, is stiff. It's a stiff plastic. It doesn't really move. So when you're going to pose her head, the hair kind of hinders it a little bit. It kind of keeps her from kind of looking up if you want to looking sideways. That's the only bad part. But other than that, tremendous amount of detail here in her necklace. The outfit, too, does have a lot of nice detail on it, a little pattern on her garb here. Here's her little C tattoo. And another tattoo, which looks pretty cool. I like that tattoo. And going down, what do you tell? You have these little tassel things here, which are just soft plastic. This whole part of her costume is just a soft plastic. But very, again, very nicely detailed. This right here too, just a soft plastic. 
down to the buckles here on her boots. A little open toed boots actually. They're like sandal boots. See your little toes there. So yeah. Very, very nicely detailed figure. As always. Definitely, and I'm going to say this, I don't care if I sound creepy, if I sound like a pervert, I don't care, I'm going to say it. She is definitely the sexiest character in this game, I have to say. You know, if I sound creepy, like a creepy old pervert, I don't care, because I think she's just the sexiest character in the game. She just looks good, damn it, and it's not because she's pretty much half naked either, it's just because she's, she's <laughs> a very well designed character. See how I tried to just make it out like it's just design. But anyway. Very cool. Now the only accessory she has, she only has two accessories. She only has her her weapon holding hand. Right here. And her staff. Which again, a very cool detail. Just all the way through. Very nicely detailed. And it does split like it does in the game. Unfortunately, they only give you one weapon holding hand, so you can't recreate the kind of double stabbing action, but that sucks. And no weapon storage either. There's nowhere to kind of clip this or put it. I guess if you really wanted to go for a stretcher, you can kind of feed it through this section here. They kind of have it like that, you know, if you really want to try to, to, to make some kind of weapon storage out of it, I guess you can do that if you want. But, um, still very nice. And again, you can just swap out the hands. Wow, she's got some tough hands. She's got some tough hands here. Get in there. There we go. You can just kind of easier if you just split it and feed one part through the bottom here and just feed the other part through the top just make sure it's lined up right there you go and there she has her staff and she has all the same articulation as the rest of them the head is on a ball joint arms at the bicep swivel elbow wrist she does have the upper the upper ab articulation and the lower ab articulation, waist joint, the legs are on a ball joint, can do whatever you want. Double jointed knees, uh, little pivot here in the uh, calf, the uh, foot is on a ball joint, go up and down, and it has the little toe pivot. So, yeah, again, she can pretty much do whatever you want. And she's just an awesome, awesome character. If we can get her to stand up. There we go. Just had to get her feet flat. Come on, Fang. There you go. Very cool. And here she is next to... I think they made Fang a little smaller than the rest of them because if you see here... Next to Vanille, she's actually a little shorter than Vanille, and I don't think that's the case. I think Vanille, I think, uh, I think Fang is actually supposed to be taller than Vanille. So, I don't think it's really in scale. Unfortunately, she, she came up kind of short, in my opinion. But, um, all in all, still a very... Very cool character. And again, I will do my public service announcement here, and I will say again, if you have not played Final Fantasy XIII, get it and play it. Awesome game. Simply awesome. And um, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about this lovely lady right here. So, there is the Final Fantasy XIII Play Arts Fang, and this is Emgo signing off.